What is going on people? It's Matt from Liquid Loans and in this one we're going to find out what a stability pool is and what it actually does. So with no further ado, let's go. If you've spent some time in the DeFi world, you've probably heard about liquidity pools. If not, then before we go any further, no, you cannot swim in them. Is that supposed to be funny? Okay, I'm allowed one dad joke per video, okay? Give me a break. A liquidity pool is formed when two crypto assets are paired together in equal dollar value amounts and offered up to an automated market maker such as Uniswap. If people then come along and wish to trade between the assets in that pool, then the liquidity, in other words, the assets that were placed into the pool is used to facilitate that trade. A stability pool, however, is a bit different. So let's find out how the stability pool works in the liquid loans protocol and why it's a vital part of the system. Unlike a liquidity pool, the stability pool in the liquid loans protocol is one-sided, meaning only one asset can be placed into it which in this case is the USDL stablecoin. So what's the benefit of doing that? Well, as a stability provider, you are supporting the health of the system and for doing so, you're rewarded in the protocol's native token loan. Plus, you'll also receive PLS when liquidations happen. This is because by depositing your USDL into the stability pool, you're essentially agreeing to buy PLS at a discount from vaults that are liquidated. When a liquidation occurs, USDL is taken from the stability pool and used to pay off the under collateralized loan and then the collateral in that vault i.e the PLS is distributed proportionally amongst the stability providers. For example if you own 10% of the stability pool then you will receive 10% of the PLS from liquidations whenever they occur. As stated, when you provide stability to the liquid loans protocol, you collectively help pay off the debt of any liquidated vaults. So even though you're losing a percentage of your deposited USDL stablecoin, you're essentially buying PLS at a discount and will end up at around an overall 8% plus net gain. So along with your cheeky gain in PLS, you will also be rewarded with a loan token. With those loan tokens, you can do as you please, which means you could sell them on the open market or an even savvier move, some might say, would be to stake them in the staking pool for more yield. Either way, you'll be adding to your bags and increasing your crypto assets. So what's the difference between the stability pool versus the loan staking pool? Well, quite a bit. As I talked about earlier, when you're a stability provider, you deposit your USDL into the stability pool and over time as liquidations occur, you give up some of your USDL for discounted PLS and end up in a net gain along with some loan token rewards too. But when staking your loan tokens in the loan staking pool, liquidations do not affect this pool. Therefore, you do not have to give up any of your loan tokens and all loan stakers collect a portion of all the fees paid in the system. Now these come from either new users taking a loan and paying a fee in USDL along with redemptions where redeemers pay a fee in PLS. So loan stakers collect a portion of the USDL and PLS fees proportional to their size within the staking pool. So to sum it up, a stability pool does what it says on the tin and is there to provide stability to a DeFi protocol. In the case of liquid loans, stability providers collectively pay off the under collateralized loans when vaults are liquidated and then pick up PLS at a discount, ending up in a net gain. They also receive rewards in the loan token too. Loan holders can deposit their tokens into the staking pool and collect a portion of all the fees paid in the system in USDL from users taking out loans and PLS from redemptions. So I hope you enjoyed that video on stability pools and how they work. If you like content like this, do hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you're notified every time we drop new content on the channel. You can also tap the like button, share the video with someone who you think it may benefit. And if you're feeling very kind, maybe drop a cheeky little comment below for the algo. It does help us out. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.